Open Box and also in Kings we go over to Dan Corney, uh, Henry Mitchell Collie and Mayhana Scooter. Here we go, action, all action. Ready, set, go. And there's a touch on the seven metre line. And who we have with the ball right now, it looks like it's starting with Otago working on your screen from left to right. Locks and loads into a chop line hole. Does the little pitter patter with the ball down. George Haswell loves the whistle. Kowawo scores that touchdown. 1 0 Otago High. Hits the link line. Garrett in the sub box there already laying down the laws. He's not happy. He's ready for the next stage there. And it's a bit of defense. There's that man you talked around. Ledger. And there it is. He has got great vision, that young man. I watched him, and I was just uh, in, very impressed about his physicality. But if you look here, even if you look at the vision he has in this, drops it back in, plays a phase, goes 2v1 outside in the link lane, and they're running on the out there. You know, run their legs because they get caught on the field. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a telling factor within this game about how they do do those fundamentals and from that they have been you know unfortunately taken to the sword talk us through it mike yeah i think we saw there just through the the first passage of their play as we go to the multi-active replay looking at a 33 peel here getting back to the middle rather than looking at where his space is he looks at where the defenders are coming from let, let otago off with a breather yeah, I think the difference when we're looking at the two transitional zones is that Otago have given a little bit more physicality through the touch, whereas if we see there, King's just trying to create that mistake, whether it be a no touch or an off the mark, where they're probably just a little bit better to get in front, show a bit more physicality through the touch. As we see that man Fowler again featuring with another right to left and a finish in the corner, and Otago are going to take a 3-1 lead. I have to say... Uh... Fowler has been very, very good. I watched him in the semi, and he's been doing it all tournament. You know, very, very good off the ground, got good speed, plays the body, kicks out to the gate, goes short side. A little bit of an early release. I thought he wouldn't all the way through, but he comes up with the money. We could have helped that middle a little bit longer, but uh, great, great pass there from the Otago boys. As we see that pledger on the ball, passing back, they're using that second phase well. Identifies he's got space back to the left with a nice short ball. And that's what we get from that man, Dylan Pledger. He's been hot for this Kings boys team. Pete, we were able to watch him yesterday in the Westlake game. Showed much of the same skill. Do you expect to see more of this as the game goes on? I think for them to do well, he's got to. I really do. I think he is their primary. How important is, is Joel in the setup, uh, Michael? You know, we talk about it. We always talk about the primary. The key to it is having those assisting players that are going to make the primary shine. And what a great release as I'm talking. Yeah, much like Pete there, we see Cook. He knew that Dills was on the other side of the field, so he made sure that he used his experience as we look at the Apollo Projects replay. Just setting up a sweep here. Comes nice and square, kicks out, identifies that someone's coming in, and then a simple draw and pass and a good finish in the corner there by Kone. I like how you say simple, Michael. You know, it's the new skill of the link. It's the catch and release, 2v1. And uh, and I think Dylan done it with a little bit of uh, uh, class and skill there. Uh, but it is a skill that is has to be adapted by the modern link nowadays. Oh, I love how you said that simple skill as well. You know, it's... It's come a long way. We used to see one person do it every so often, but now, throughout this tournament, I've seen so much of it. Oh, look at this. And I've seen so much of that. Another great touchdown. Just when it was three apiece, Otago come back once again, taking it to four with the Caltex replay. Yeah, he comes, peels. He's got good vision, throws a little dummy, and dies. He's got a very... Him and Dylan have got uh, quite similar attributes in terms of what they good good feet very physical very very good if he opens up the range it'll just give him more of a powerful platform to do that but you know for a, a young man that age really really good and just as we say that they change up a fake 32 peel hit the link get in the gate and he uses tremendous speed to get a touch down there early early release release to the link what are you thinking, Michael? What, what, what could have the defence done better there? 
Yeah, and with dealing with uh, one of their co-coaches, Mehan Eskuna, and he was a part of our 20 boys uh, group that travelled over to uh, Newcastle and understanding his intellect of the game. I mean, he had a few trick plays up his sleeve when he was a player, so possibly we might get to see one as they try and get a quickie on the link. And he has got to the outside shoulder, and Tommy has awarded it. And that's consistency in terms of if they were consistent in completing their sets, they wouldn't have given them this opportunity. Great quickie here. He gets it back. He gets down low, and it's, it's a try. Well done. Otago boys, they've got to complete this. Time is now their enemy. Yeah, with only a minute left, they're probably going to have this set and another set if they're lucky. As we see Fowler get onto the back end, he's going to look for a right to left. He's found him in the corner and he's leveled it. That's Marama what they Keke, Marama Keke, easy peasy, just like that. And we have it locked up. 40 seconds to go, five apiece of the polo replay. Look, we take it in with a nice platform here. Pick from dummy half. Lots, loads, over the top. Winger, high flying, touchdown. After two minutes, whoever's in the lead will win this game. I think it's a huge uh, um, benefit to start in the drop-off due to the fact that you get to control the, memento of the momentum of the game. Let's see what they've got. Set piece. And there we see just a bit of pressure from Kings trying to push that pass. Had, had the Otago defensive line on the run. And for those of you out there that don't understand, the drop-off is now a four-on-four format, a two-minute final time, and the team that leads after that two minutes will take this drop-off out. However, if it is still locked up at the end of that two minutes, then we will go down to three-on-three, -three, where the ball finishes at the end of that two minutes, becomes a sudden death shootout, and it's a golden point scenario. That's a great lift from the outside unit there to be able to make that touch. Just smart knowing that he got in the passing lane there, Pete, and was able to make that yeah. touch. How exciting is this? I talked about exit and basic fundamentals. If, I've, if I'm being honest, we've got uh, Fowler, who's been very, very good in this game. You've given him opportunity. He's a primary attacker. And he just won the Nationals for Otago boys. If we've got 30 seconds to play, touch can be very, very cruel in terms of if you don't get your basic fundamentals right. And what a try by Fowler. He's had, really had a really good tournament. For me, one of the, the best. You know, there's, you know, like, it's a big day, but they've got seconds to draw it up here, 14 to be exact, and they need a big play here. Yeah, they'll look to try and take it to one edge. A bit of footwork as he brings it back, and he's going to do it. Has he got it down? Oh, he's called the touch. He's going to have to roll this quick. Is that the game? He's called play. Here we go. They'll give it everything, Kings. Bit of a step back, looking for a late cut. He throws it around the back. Ball goes to ground. Takata Poro and Otago boys have taken out. The men's final at the Bunnings Warehouse New Zealand Secondary School Nationals for 2022. I can't take anything away from the Kings' performance, though. They gave it everything. They trailed early in this game. They managed to claw their way back. They got in front. They unfortunately got it leveled up, and they took it into the drop-off. And then just a few uncharacteristic errors there, Pete, in the drop-off, which uh, allowed uh, Otago to probably capitalise a little bit more.